What is up guys? In today's video we're going to talk about the Monarch Pistol and whether or not it was buffed because recently there were some changes and a lot of people seem to be misunderstanding it. As always, if you guys do enjoy this video, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you like to see more, and comment down below if this makes you more or less inclined to use the Monarch Pistol. So this morning, Fortnite Status posted this. We've deployed a hot flick hot fix to address an exploit where some weapon damage was being calculated inconsistently. The Monarch pistol's hip fire damage and fire rate will temp temporarily match its aim down sights values. We'll restore this to its intended values in our next update. So a lot of people are interpreting this as the Monarch pistol was buffed with a damage increase. And in a way, it kind of was, but only when hip firing. The Monarch pistol previously had two different modes based on whether or not you were hip firing or aiming in. When you aimed in, you had a slower fire rate, but an increase in damage. And then when you were hip firing, the fire rate was higher, but the damage was lower. Now, the way the fire rate and the damage of the weapon is, is as if you were aiming in, regardless of whether or not you're aiming in. So... In a way, this is a damage increase when hip firing because now it will do more damage when you hip fire than it did previously. The damage still remains the same as it was previously when you aim in. It's not like they did this change and then also increased the base damage. And I've seen a lot of people acting as if that was the case. Uh, like I've seen clips that people post of the Monarch pistol now and they're like, wow, this buff is so insane. And then it was just all aimed in clips. And, you know, whether or not you're playing today or you were playing the first day the season came out, the aimed in damage of the Monarch pistol was not changed at all. They just made the hip fire match the aim in. And now it's as if it's one gun at all times. It doesn't have like the different modes based on whether or not you're hip firing or aiming in. The Mythic version prior to today's changes hit for 81 damage to the body and 138 damage to the head. After today's changes, it hits for 81 damage to the body and 138 damage to the head. So, like, the weapon was buffed when you hip fire it as far as damage goes, but the base damage was not changed. And I feel like a lot of people, like I said, are confused about this and they just see damage increased and they think this was, like, across the board. But this is exclusively a change to the hip fire. And this is a temporary change, as the Fortnite status post said. This is only until they uh, the next update where they're able to fix whatever problem there previously was happening. Um, whether or not this actually is a buff or a nerf depends really on what you want. If like I know some people really liked the Monarch pistol in a sense that they could use it as like a pseudo SMG hip firing when up close. And then aimed in for like really, you know, hard hitting shots at long range. Whereas now, even up close, you'll have a really slow fire rate, but really high damage. So I think as long as you play this correctly and you kind of know in the back of your head that like, I don't have the fast fire rate when hip firing, the hip fire damage hitting incredibly hard can be really beneficial, especially off spawn. You just need to be a little more patient when you're hip firing this weapon i think that's like the main takeaway i think is just that if you are hip firing this make sure you're putting as much of the crosshair on the opponent as you can have the dot like center chest or something like that and then go for the hip fire shot and you know there are times like when soaring through the sky or shock waving or something like that where being able to hip fire and just hit for like 80 damage if you hit it is kind of crazy and is a lot more beneficial than hitting for like 40 or 60 whatever it would be uh prior to this change some people may also want to combine this with a ha uh, hammer pump and kind of swap back and forth as a pseudo double pump because now the monarch pistol is going to hit you know almost 100 body damage and over 100 headshot damage so hip firing it you know is pretty comparable damage to a pump and Using this as a pseudo double pump can work, but it's not very forgiving in the sense that like the hammer pump isn't the hardest hitting pump shotgun. And also the fire rates don't really match up well. Like if you shoot a hammer pump, swap and then shoot the monarch pistol as fast as you can and then swap back to the pump, it's not going to quite be ready to shoot yet. I feel like that's one of the main kind of downsides that the hammer pump has had uh, for all of chapter five, because I feel like a Thunderburst SMG high, uh, hammer pump combo should have worked like incredibly well, but 
going one pump shot to one burst back to one pump shot the hammer pump just wasn't quite ready to shoot yet and i feel like that's what made it inconvenient to use and i feel like the monarch pistol is kind of the same way and with fortnite right now we have really hard hitting spammy shotguns the sovereign shotgun and the gatekeeper shotgun both hit very hard for high fire rate shotguns so i'm less inclined to want to swap hammer pump to monarch pistol and make things you know a little more difficult for myself and be really demanding as far as aim goes because if you miss that pump shot or miss that monarch pistol shot it's probably ggs while a really good spammy shotgun exists like all the gatekeeper player has to do is stay on one weapon hold the shoot button and aim at you whereas you're swapping back and forth between two kind of like all or nothing weapons that aren't very forgiving so while that playstyle could be something you maybe want to go to if you know you're looking for something different or you just find it fun i don't think that's going to be the most viable way to play the game with the high fire rate shotguns we currently have in the loot pool and how much mobility there is in the loot pool like the jetpack and the shockwaves people are kind of all over the place and i feel like that makes a high risk high reward weapon swap play style a little less viable than it would be if you know the high fire rate shotguns weren't as good as they are and if there wasn't as much mobility in the game for fights to be just kind of as crazy and as chaotic uh as they can be so i wouldn't really go for the hammer pump monarch uh, pistol playstyle. I would rather just use the gatekeeper or the sovereign shotgun, and I think most players are also going to be in that boat. So for me, this update doesn't really change how I feel about the monarch pistol or how I'm going to use it. Whenever I did use the monarch pistol, I was usually using shotgun AR, and then the pistol is like exclusively a long range tag weapon. I never really was using the hip fire version of this pistol at all, especially when for like the most part. Uh, my favorite or preferred AR this season has been the striker AR. So like even hip fire wise, if I'm going to a weapon to hip fire because my shotgun is out of ammo or something, I, I feel like the hip fire striker AR was much better than the hip fire monarch pistol because while it did have a higher fire rate when hip firing, it really wasn't that great of a fire rate and the ammo capacity was so low. So I feel like losing out on the hip fire version of this pistol is really not that big of a deal I, I know some people did like that and there probably will be people that are upset but just for me personally i don't really think this changes the game too much and it doesn't really change how i feel about the monarch pistol at all really uh let me know down in the comments below what you think of this change especially if you are someone who really liked the old hip fire version of it i'm kind of interested to see if there's anybody out there that kind of feels that way and like we already touched on a few times this is just a temporary change it's for like probably a week i believe the first major update of this season is supposed to be on September 4th. So this should go until then. So it's really not that big of a deal. And the Monarch Pistol will be back to its original self sometime soon. As always, if you guys did find this video to be helpful, informative, interesting, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you would like to see more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.